The ad objective you choose when running meta ad campaigns can make or break your ad. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the six different objectives available and when you should use each one. So follow me into Ads Manager over here. And the first objective we have is the awareness objective. And Meta says, show your ads to people who are most likely to remember them. And they say this objective is good for reach, brand awareness, video views, and store location awareness. So that's if you have a physical store for your business. However, I want to quickly point out something about the awareness objective. It is one of the most useless ad objectives that exist on meta platforms, right? So I know they said it's good for brand awareness and for reach, but one thing I've noticed with the awareness objective, I've used it repeatedly over different accounts, niches, and industries, is that it just gives you a lot of reach, like a huge number of reach for very cheap, but you don't actually get any tangible results. So you will struggle to get any engagement on your content. You would struggle to get anyone to like click from your content to your website or wherever it is you're driving traffic to. So it's just an extremely useless ad objective, to be very honest. And the only time I use the awareness objective for clients is when I'm running retargeting campaigns. Yes. So I usually set up two retargeting campaigns. The first campaign would use the sales objective. So that is the main campaign, spending the most of the budget for the retargeting ads. And I leave that running to drive conversions. However, I've also noticed that sometimes when I use the reach objective, right, the awareness objective, and I optimize for reach, and I have a high frequency cap, right, it helps bring in some, um, some sales and some conversions for my clients because I get to show these people the ads repeatedly over a very short period of time. So I usually use the awareness objective for this purpose to retarget, but only when there's like a limited time offer and it's about to expire, right? So in this case, I want to maximize my reach and I'm just retargeting custom audiences. So people who already know about the brand. I'm not using this to show um, cold audiences or strangers and get them to buy from the brand. So that is the only scenario where I use the awareness objective. If not, I don't touch it at all. So let's go back to the second objective, which is the traffic objective. Now, Meta says, send people to a destination such as your website, app, Instagram profile, or Facebook event. So the traffic ob objective is great for, well, doing just that, driving traffic, right? And I use this objective when I want to get Instagram followers, when I want to grow an account, when I want to increase awareness of an account, right? So this is what I use instead of the awareness objective. So if you have an Instagram account and you're trying to grow that, all you need to do is choose a really good piece of content, like something that has ideally performed well organically. And then you can now use that, promote it with the traffic objective, choose Instagram profile visits as your conversion location, right? And then you would see people visiting the profile from the content, following, saving, and so on. So the engagement is much higher when you use the traffic objective than when you use the awareness objective. And it's still reasonably cheap. Now, one mistake a lot of advertisers make is they use the traffic objective and they try to you know, um, optimize for conversions. So you want people to make a purchase from a website, but you choose the traffic objective and then you choose link clicks as your optimization or landing page visa as your optimization. And most of the time, that's not going to get you the best results, right? So if you're trying to get sales from a website, you're going to want to use the sales objective. So that is the most effective objective for that particular goal. So I use the traffic objective once again when I want to grow an account, an Instagram account. So you can also test it out if you want to drive messages, if you want to raise awareness for something, an event, a program, and so on, and just see how that works. The next objective is the engagement objective. And Meta says, get more messages, purchases through messaging, video views, post engagement, page likes, or event responses. And this objective is good for Messenger, Instagram, and WhatsApp to receive messages there, video views, and post engagement. Now, this objective is pretty effective to a large extent. I've seen the engagement objective work for brands where I set up ads for them to get messages. So I use the engagement objective and I optimize for messages, usually to the Instagram DM or to WhatsApp, and then I promote a special offer. So most times you'd see people sending messages and then you can close them in the DM and get them to pay you, right? 
So now the issue is with the engagement objective, you might get a lot of messages, but the conversion rate might not be so high. So it all depends on how skilled you are or how skilled your sales closer is and how potent your offer is, right? So most times if you compare the sales objective for messages and the engagement objective for messages, most times you would get more purchases or a higher cut value or higher order value from the sales objective than from the engagement objective. But you can test out, just like I said, run an engagement campaign, drive people to send your business messages, run a sales campaign at the same time, drive people to send your business messages, and then just see which one you can test and see um, which one is getting you the best results, not in terms of the number of messages, but in terms of the quality of leads you are getting. The next objective is the leads objective. And this one is perfect when you want to um, generate leads for your business, right? So Meta says, collect leads for your business or brands, and it's good for instant forms, messenger and Instagram conversions or calls. So if you're trying to generate leads for your business, you can go ahead and use the leads objective, send people over to a website to fill a form, to sign up for your email list and so on. Note that ideally you should have the Metapixel installed on that landing page so that it's easy to track, right? Um, yeah, you can also use Meta's instant forms, which is their own feature for generating leads or collecting information for a business. And then you can drive people to Messenger and Instagram as well. So most times when I'm using the leads objective, I'm sending people over to like an email list or to subscribe for something and to get that in their email. So that is when I use the leads generation objective the most. Um, and the next one is app promotion. So if you have an application, maybe on the Play Store, on the App Store, wherever, you're first of all going to want to sync that app with Meta's uh, platform. Right, So you need to connect that application to your Meta account so that you can use this objective in the first place. Right, And Meta says, find new people to install your app and continue using it. Right, It's good for app installs and app events. So let's say you have a game and you're trying to get more people to download the game, to play the game, um, and so on, or to use your software, right, the application. This is the objective you're going to want to use. So you can use the app promotion objective and then go ahead to find people to use your app, to use your software and so on. And finally, the sales objective, right? <laughs> and I guess they kept the best for last. So the sales objective, they say, find people who are likely to purchase your product or your service. It's good for conversions, catalog sales, messenger, Instagram, and WhatsApp and calls. Now I use the sales objective a lot across clients, right? And it's either I'm using the sales objective to drive messages, like I said before, or I'm sending people over to the client's website to go ahead and make that purchase from the website. For you to be able to do that, you need to have the Meta Pixel, well, Meta data set now, or the Conversions API installed on the website so that Meta can track accurately and tell you when your purchase is coming in and so on. But the sales objective is very, very effective for getting you just that sales, right? So if you're trying to run a campaign and what you really want for your business is sales, please go ahead and use the sales objective. You can either send people over to your website or you can send them to, um, you can tell them to send you a message, right? On Messenger, Instagram, and WhatsApp, as you can see here. If you also have a catalog for your business, right, where you have multiple products and, you know, you're spotlighting each one in the ad campaign, you can use the sales objective for that purpose, to promote that catalog. And you can also use it to promote calls, although I have never optimized for calls or tried to get calls through the sales objective. Most times it's messages or conversions on the website. So these are the six ad objectives available on Meta's platform. And I just want to point out something. The ad objectives are arranged to a large extent in terms of potency, right? In terms of two things, potency and cost. So at the very top, we start with the objective that is the cheapest and is the least effective, right? To get results, to get, let's say, the strongest results, which is like a sale, right? So they are arranged in that order. So the awareness objective is the cheapest and is going to cost you a great sweat before you get a sale from it. And then you have the sales objective at the end, which is the most expensive a lot of the times. And it is the most potent to get you the result that you really want. So choose the objective that matches the result you're trying to get. If you're trying to get brand awareness, you're trying to grow your followers, the traffic 
campaign is good for that, especially if it's Instagram you're trying to grow. If you're trying to generate leads, you can use the leads objective or even the sales objective, depending on the quality of leads you're trying to get. And then if you're trying to get sales, please go for the sales objective. Don't choose anything else and try to game the system. And that's it for the meta ad objectives. I've broken all six of them down for you. Let me know which one you use the most in the comments or which one you want to test out now that you've watched this video. Go check out this video where I share some Facebook ads, myths and facts that you need to pay attention to if you want to run ads that get you profitable results for your business. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I share videos like this to help you run meta ad campaigns that actually get you the results that your business needs. I'll see you in the next video.